Come on in, guys. Hello, you 12. It's now time to split you up into two tribes of six. All right, Echo, Charlie, Pom Pom, Drake, Waddle Dee, and Leary, your guys' tribe will be known as the Taro Tribe, and you will be purple. Astral, Rex, Curly, Righty, Snorlax, and Velvet, you guys will be known as the Unami Tribe, and will be green. In this challenge, one member from each team will step up and they will face off. Basically, you will just have to run across and knock the other team's candle over. If you do that, your team will get a point. The team with the most points after everyone has gone will win immunity. The losing tribe will meet me at Tribal Council tonight, where one of you will be the third person voted off. Survivors ready? Pick your first person. I'm honestly very happy with my tribe because I'm with Pom Pom and Pom Pom's kind of like my number one right now. It's a little awkward right now because I'm pretty sure Righty knows I voted them out last tribal and now I have to be on a tribe with them. Thankfully, I'm still in alliance with Charlie, Astral, and Larry. Um, I don't think they know it's me who flipped, so hopefully I can stay on their good side and stay in this game. Guys, I think I'll go first. I think I could take him. First round, Rex versus Larry, go. In this challenge, I think I wanna play offense because I think I will be able to catch Larry off guard and score the point for my team. Uh, uh, uh. No, no. Rex earns a point for the Unami tribe. I feel like I kind of just let my whole team down. It kind of looks like I actually just did nothing and just sat there and let Rex get the point. All right, the point is currently one for Unami, zero for Taro. Round two, Astral versus Echo. Three, two, one, go. I will get that point for my team. No, you won't. Ah, get off of me. Mm. And not. And Echo earns a point for the Taro tribe. We are currently tied 1-1. One, one. Waddle Dee versus Snorlax. Go. Uh, don't make me do it, Waddle Dee. Don't make me do it, Snorlax. <clears throat> no, you're not going to get away with this. I'm going to get the point. No, you're not. Uh, I'm going to push you into the candle and make you taste defeat. What? Snorlax gets the point. We're at two point tsunami, one for Taro. Drake versus Righty. Go. Playing defense, I see. Yeah, I am. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Righty. And that's now two points for Taro. We are tied, two, two. Send up your next member. Velvet versus Pom Pom. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, oh no, you don't, fat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I didn't mean it. Pom Pom scores a point for Taro. We are now 3-2. Unami has to get the next point in order to tie. Then we'll go to tiebreaker. If not, and Charlie wins, Taro wins immunity. Final showdown between Curly and Charlie. Go. I can't let you get that point. I can't let you get it either. <clears throat> No, I need to get the candle. Get off. Uh, mm. Get away. Yes, and Taro wins immunity. Yes, guys, we did it. Yes. Which means, Unami Tribe, I'll be seeing you tonight at Tribal Council, where one of you will become the third person voted out of this game. Head back to camp. Right now on the Unami Tribe, I see it split up into three duos. Me and Curly, Righty and Rex, and Astral and Velvet. However, Astral doesn't know that Velvet flipped on them last tribal, which we could use Velvet to get information. Hey Velvet. Hey Astral. Oh my god, last tribal was insane. We literally had no time to talk. Well, like, after. Yeah, I know. I just... Do you know who flipped? I have no idea. And like, do you know who voted Swimmer? No clue. It's just like, it came out of nowhere, and like, I'm just so shocked. 
Obviously, I hate sitting here and lying to Astral, but it's what I have to do in order to keep myself in this game. This game just moves so fast and it's just, it's getting to me. Yeah, I know, me too, but we need to think of a new target. I don't know. I mean, now that Lefty's not in the game, there's really no reason to go after Righty anymore. Um, but I just, I don't know who to go after. Well, Snorlax and Rex were the only two to get points, right? Yeah, so I think they have to stay. I agree, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe we still go for Righty. Because Righty, like, was so easily, like, overtaken. That's true. I just... I think... I think Righty. I think we vote Righty. Okay. Hey, Rex. Hey, Righty. So, I just... Honestly, I think we need to stick together. Um, like, in this tribe. I agree, I agree. Um, but... I don't know. Who... We need to think of a vote fast. I agree. I think, I don't know, I just, I don't want to vote for you or Snorlax because you guys got us the points, but honestly, I think we might have to vote for Curly. Okay, and why is that? I don't know. I just feel like she wasn't, she was one of the people that wasn't on our side with Pom Pom and Waddle Dee and Swimmer to vote out Lefty. Um, but neither was Astral or Velvet or literally anyone on this tribe. Okay, well, you're right, actually. Um, I don't know. Who do you want out? Honestly, maybe Astral. I just feel like he's... He will be a threat for the merge. And honestly, if we want to make it like far in the merge, we need to get him out. Okay. Um, I guess it's settled then. Yep. Okay, guys. Astral wants Righty out. Again? Well, he said he didn't want to vote for Righty, but then he kind of considered it and kind of talked about how, you know, um, he was like pretty easily overtaken in the immunity challenge. And if we want to make it to merge, we have to have strong people on our tribe. That's true. I mean, also, it is a good thing to consider the people who are strong and get them out now, but also we don't want to lose every single immunity challenge. That's true. So, who are we thinking? I don't know. I think... I, I don't want to vote Astral because we have him on our side right now, I think. Like, I have him for information, and... I don't know... That's true. But he just seems like the easy vote. I, I either, I don't know, because we could do like righty. We could vote for righty or we could vote astral. I think one of us should go talk to Rex and righty and see what they're thinking. I think I'll do it. Um, and you guys stay here and I'll come back. Sounds good. Hey guys! Oh, hey Curly. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys and see where your heads are at. Um, honestly, we were thinking about voting Astral. I'm being straight up with Curly, so then we can gain trust and hopefully me and Righty can get another ally out of this conversation. Oh, okay. Um, I kind of just want to talk to you guys because honestly, that's what I was thinking too. Um, but I just... I don't know, like, this is really intense. Like, this game has been so intense so far. Yeah, I agree, and Last Tribal, like, was insane. Okay, well, this was a good talk. Um, I guess we're voting for Astral then. Um, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go get some water and lay down before Tribal. Alright, bye guys. So, it seems like everyone's voting for Astral, and that is an easy vote, but... I think I want to spice this game up. Come on in, guys. Welcome, Unami Tribe, to Tribal Council. Before we get to the votes, I'm going to ask a couple of you some questions. Righty, in the first Tribal Council, you were almost sent home. How do you feel about that? And how has it affected your game now? 
honestly, I don't really know if it's affected my game because it's just, it's not really like that big of a factor anymore. Lefty's not in the game, honestly. I don't know, I just, I don't think it's really affected my game that much. I mean, the people on this tribe who stuck with me last vote, I'm still with them, so I don't know. I don't think it's really affected my game in any way. Astral. Alliances were obviously made when there were still 14 people on one tribe together. So how do you think this tribe setting is affecting your gameplay? Or anyone's gameplay for that matter? Well, honestly, um, it helps me get to know more people outside of the group I was kind of with, um, you know, when there was 14 people together. So yeah, I just, I get to make new connections and see how everyone else is like. All right, I think it's time to vote. All right, the votes are in. If anyone has a hidden immune idol or an advantage and would like to play it, now's the time to do so. All right, once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Um, Astral. Second vote. Curly. What? Third vote, Snorlax. We are tied. One vote Curly, one vote Astral, one vote Snorlax. Who voted for me? Hey Snorlax, um, sorry, I, I'm gonna go find Velvet, but um, I'm here to tell you that uh, Ride and Rex went over to Astral. Okay, sounds good. Hey guys, sorry, I kind of just wanted to talk to you alone, but um, Ride and Rex told me that Snorlax came up to them and said that um, he wanted you guys out. Like, you, both of you. What? Yeah, I know. I was just as shocked as you. That's so weird. So I was thinking that Snorlax might be the vote tonight. Okay, I agree. Let's do it. So I kind of just wanted to cause as much chaos before Tribal Council as I could. Um, so I know who's going home but I'm just gonna vote for myself. Um, just to, I don't know, see who I can pin it on. Fourth vote. Astral. Fifth vote. Snorlax. We are tied two votes Astral, two votes Snorlax, and then one vote Curly. Third person voted out of Survivor Plush, the Grotto. Astral, you need to bring me your torch. Well, I wish I could say that it worked out, but it didn't. Um, honestly, I really love this game, and I'm kind of sad about this outcome, but I should have seen it coming, um, you know, guilty by association, so. Well, Astral, the tribe has spoken. It's time for you to go. Bye, everyone, and best of luck. Well, there seemed to be a lot of confusion with tonight's vote, so maybe you guys should go back to camp and talk it out. I'll see you at the next immunity challenge.